Okay, welcome to Bidibot. Um Yeah, I just quickly show you how to um, log in and uh, participate a uh, conference meeting uh, on this platform. Okay, this was built uh, with Rocket Chat, and um, if you use that system before, and then you know how to do it, right? But if not, I'm just quickly show you how to. Um, uh, register a new account uh, basically just click this link uh, the left view is my phone okay so just let you know um, you know I'm demonstrating both uh, view you know the mobile and the desktop okay uh, the right hand side is the desktop so basically fill out your name email you know password twice okay that's just common you know on any platform and then just you just click register a new account okay once you have done that and um, you're gonna uh, receive uh, a email um, to confirm your uh, registration so just click the link in that email and then you know your email has been verified so having a verified email is important once you verify your email then the system will send you a reminder if some someone um, you know want to talk to you and then instantly you get an email reminder okay so which is very handy um, and also for those uh, who don't want to you know create account this way and then you can simply uh, use the Google you know your Google account to log in okay so um, you know this is pretty common and uh, or twitter you know twitter um yeah uh, account to log in so uh, and then it's faster okay so just choose whatever you like okay and note that um the google and twitter account it's a separate account okay unless um uh, I, I need to learn how to you know uh, combine them to as one I don't know how right but uh, maybe uh, I'm thinking if you give the same uh, username I'm just uh, guessing right if you give the same username because once you log in with uh, Google or Twitter they it will ask you uh, a username I guess uh, if you use the same username, then the email registration and the Google Twitter registration, they are considered to be one account. I'm not sure, but I'm just guessing, okay? I haven't tested that, but uh, you know, you can test that. I'm going to make a series of videos, right? So it's a lot to talk, right? It's uh, This platform is uh, huge. Uh, it's very uh very handy actually uh, very capable um uh, there's a lot of way you can uh use it um so i'm just going to uh show the login okay just uh, this is the the cell phone login okay so once you log in you automatically come to the lobby room okay and then this one i'm gonna do the same um, login using a different account okay this is the um, the admin account and that's my mobile account okay so um you see same same thing uh come to the uh lobby room just desktop view give you you know the full view right uh for this uh you have to click here the menu then to see the uh, teams and channels okay but this one you see everything okay so that's um, and then you can do other things like go to your uh, account to set pre preferences right and um, I'm just uh, going to demonstrate both uh, you see um, this will uh, because of the mobile has a you know a narrow screen so it, it, it can only show one section so to see the other section you just tap this black area this area okay and then you see the same thing okay so you can set your language uh, preference um, 
a lot of things you know says message you know you have to go through all of it yourself okay just too much for me to go through uh, so just uh, quickly um, um, for example notification you know the first thing I don't like is the the sound okay the sound is really really loud you know it's hundred percent so now I set it to 21 uh, percent anyway uh, so yeah that's something you can quickly do uh, profile you know um, you can you know write your bio you know uh, anyway it's a lot right a lot you can customize so I won't touch that I just quickly show you how to come to a certain channel and start a meeting okay that's um, the most important um, just go back close that um, for example tomorrow right tomorrow is Friday we're gonna have a meeting here so um, so we need to ask people to come here right uh, because by default uh, uh, people will come to the lobby right uh, but podnet is a private channel uh, we created so we want the um, new uh, reg uh, you know new people you know because we, we're gonna invite them to the podnet right so we want them to uh, create account once they create account they are automatically added to the partner channel so uh, that's for that reason um, you know uh, we can uh, we can do this you know I just I'm just showing you you know how to do it right how to invite people to a specific uh, channel okay so if you see from the using a computer you see this you know uh, icon calls members so you click that because you are within this channel right you click that then it shows you know who are here right and who are online and who see who this is online and then all means all members right we see Richard here Lawrence here okay and um, uh, if you want to add more, but I'm, I'm using the admin, right? Um, yeah, some, if you are simply a user, you may not uh, be able to add. Um, yeah, but uh, anyway, once you're assigned to be a moderator, leader, whatever, you know, higher you know, status, then you can add member, even you can invite, you know, you can, you know, find the invite link right just copy it and then you can send it to whoever right so that's the the quick way to invite um, users to this channel okay and uh, yeah that's something you can do um, uh, I can I can even paste it here okay I said just this is the invite link to this specific channel okay just, yeah so anyway um, yeah um, so you know you don't have to you know go there you know you can just use it you know from here for the uh, conference meeting um, you see the icons here uh, same thing over for that uh, over where uh, I think it's over here yeah over here see for the uh, mobile uh, view you click here you know that's the menu right then you see here here the description you see uh, a phone handle and then with a text okay start video conference and uh, over here just same thing okay you just move your mouse over the icon and you see the description and then you click it either from the mobile phone or from here you know depending right who start right uh, I think right now everyone can start you know 
whoever in the channel can start. Um, but then you you know I ask you to confirm, right? Once you say yes, okay, and then a button, see, see a button is created here. So so if I'm using and then I'll ask my permission, right, to use my mic and uh, audio uh, video. Uh, I cannot use my video because I'm recording, okay? Uh, but uh, I can uh, join here, see, same thing, because, uh, you know, nobody started yet, right? So I started, then, let's see, you know, I already started there, so I just click here to join the meeting, I can enter a, a, a name. This is actually my Chinese. This uh, my language is set to Chinese, but uh, anyway, so um, just I just Aubrey, okay. Now um, I'm in, okay. Um, okay. So, so you see, I'm, you see, I'm already, already in. in. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and and uh, uh, there is. Uh, uh, Okay, okay, because, because the echo, echo. I'll no, just, just leave. leave. Okay, I left, and I'm just going to quickly show the um, this one. Uh, if you use the Chrome uh, browser to uh, start the meeting, and it will ask you. To install the extension for Google Calendar and Office 365 integration. Okay, this is handy for you to organize, right? The, to integrate with uh, Google Calendar. Okay, and that's uh, something you may want to do. I think I already done it. Uh, so, um, yeah, I'm gonna close and then. I'm the only one right in the meeting because I'm testing so I leave that room and um, click here to go back okay to go back uh, come back to the see come back to the um, to the chat channel okay uh, okay this is actually new yeah, I can close this. Okay, see, um, you see that shows that uh, you know the link open twice uh, because one, uh, you know, I started and also I started from my my mobile phone. Okay, if you click now, it, sh it will sh show that call already ended. Right? Same thing over here. Yeah. Um, so for that reason, uh, because there's a certain time out. Uh, uh, set uh, in the, within the button so for that reason uh, you know it's better to gather everyone here and then you know when everyone agree does Kevin start yes and then everybody click you know I think within five minutes or, or one minute I don't know uh, I need to find out but uh, in case you don't know whoever open the window uh, uh, when uh, whoever opened the Jitsi uh, meet room first, then that person can simply copy. You know, also those who join, they can also copy, right? You can co just copy uh, the link into the chat, right? And then uh, for those uh, uh, who come late, right, they cannot, you know, use the button, right? But then they see the link because once you have the link, everyone can start, right? Everyone can join, you know. Even nobody there, you can you can click there and then, you know, start the meeting and then you ask people to come to that room. Okay, so that's uh, how it works. So that's it. Um, yeah, I'll um, in the future I'm gonna make more videos uh, to explain all the features. I yeah, yesterday I made a video, but I try to explain everything, then make it very long. So today I just show how to come to the Podnet channel and how to start a meeting. Okay, so this is the button. Remember the hand, the, the phone handle. Okay, 
and uh, on the um, uh, on the phone it's the the menu uh, but, uh, icon and then you click the um, oh where is it yeah here yeah see start yeah so that's it yeah yeah I'm sure you know how to do it and uh, you can practice just like I just practiced right and uh, yeah so that would be good okay good see you tomorrow